Some Philippine news with an update on the American who was kidnapped, uh, and uh, we're going into a big holiday season. A lot of people are going to be traveling, so if you're planning, uh, you plan on some uh, patience and possibly long lines and waiting, waiting, waiting uh, for the you know your ferries can fill up. Get your tickets early. Uh, November 1st and 2nd, All Saints Day and All Souls Day. Uh, some of the businesses will be, be closed, especially government offices. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're planning on going to the immigration offices. That's a na nationwide thing. And uh, some, some stores may or may not be open. Just have to check on their sites to find out what's going on. Anyway, I, I just saw an article about the... Uh, the American who was kidnapped, and uh, the authorities, the PNP, Philippine National Police, are saying they have they have some persons of interest, and they have uh, somebody has reached out, uh, possibly wanting to surrender in the case. So they're they're kind of pursuing that direction a little bit. This guy in his twenties, uh, he had he had. Uh, gone to met, met a Muslim lady, married her, moved down into that area, southwest uh, Mindanao, which is a pretty much a no-go zone for foreigners, and uh, was, was living there, uh, had a little bit of a business, had a YouTube channel, um, probably said way too much on the YouTube channel. He was he was uh, loaning out money at higher interest rates and making some money to pay for things with that. And the Muslims uh, don't allow don't allow usury, high in, uh, interest loans, basically. And uh, there may have you know the different angles on this. It may, may be the uh, Muslim terrorist groups, might be personal grudges, other different types of things. Nobody seems to know just quite yet, but he had been warned apparently. People had come to him and warned him that there were people who wanted to kidnap him. And he, he even made a post on his YouTube channel about that. But he stayed there. The Philippines is generally very safe place for foreigners. And uh, very rare that, that you see any any issues with foreigners. Pizza place here makes some good pizza. But... Um, you know, you, you need to know where where you shouldn't be going, the no-go zones. They're NPA, the, the armed group of the uh, Communist Party, uh, in certain areas. Armed groups uh, coercing people to give them food and money and uh, different conflicts with the army and other people. But they very seldom mess with foreigners unless the foreigners happens to get in in between the army and them. And uh, so I've done a deeper dive on those types of locations on my member site. Got two different levels on my member site. Uh, special videos, uh, sometimes on more sensitive topics, more in depth on real estate topics and other topics as well. So check out the membership site. We are entering our oh, we are entering our high tourist season: October, November, December, January, February. When it's cold in uh, the Northern Hemisphere, a lot of people take their vacations, come to the Philippines, Thailand, other places. And uh, so there is, uh, you're, going, you're going to have more travelers traveling with you. And uh, just by slip there, it was raining out. My sandals are a little bit slippery. I'm not wearing the best shoes. And boy, some of these pavements can get real, real slippery. And sometimes they have a bit of a, bit of an, a slant to them uh, so yeah be very careful spend a couple hundred dollars uh, on a good pair of deck shoes that are made for walking on slippery surfaces we got holidays uh, coming up Undus which is uh, All Saints Day All Souls Day which is November 1st and 2nd I think they're, they're expected like 4.5 million Filipinos traveling basically so your your tickets for ferries, planes. Um, we don't have trains here in Cebu, but up in up in Luzon, they've got a, 
a number of different trains. Anyway, plan ahead. Plan ahead because places can fill up. This guy was telling me that he uh, they, they were getting a pretty good uh, number of tourists in there. I don't know that he really understood my question. But uh, anyway, we're going to cross the street here. This is Ramos Street. Came, came down from... Uh, Mango Avenue, also called General Maxillome Avenue. And uh, flashing lights, that's XOXO. It's a uh, karaoke place. I think they've got rooms you take a girl in and sing your heart out or whatever, something like that. Cebu Veterinary's Clinic, uh, pretty big place, got quite a large staff. And uh, Sorry about that. My my lens was getting a little wet, I think, so I was was wiping it off. Ramos Street, flashing this this light neon lights Sandia here. Massage. Sandia Sandia Massage. I'll show you the prices there. And boy, massages are very 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 inexpensive here in the Philippines. Uh, generally, you know, if you go to the high end hotels and stuff, uh, their prices, of course, are going to start much higher than these prices, the massage places on the street. And I'm told most of these places are legit massage places. Um, and uh, they're not going to offer you much more than that, most places. Unlike, I'm, I'm, I'm told that in Thailand, it's the other way around. Most places are happy ending kind of places. And the uh, legitimate massage place is a little less common. Is that true? You guys that travel that way? Weather-wise, uh, we just had a typhoon that, uh, a very large spread out uh, typhoon that, well, it never turned into a typhoon, actually. It was a severe tropical storm. But it did uh, a lot more damage than some typhoons do. Typhoons generally rated by their wind speed. And it dumped just dumped so much rain up in the Bacol region of, of Luzon and other places as well. Sports Bar and Grill. And yeah, 301 Sports Bar and Grill across the uh, way over there. Good food, uh, band, uh, many, many nights. Check out their Facebook page for more information. Ramos Street, that's the address. 301 Ramos Street Bar. And uh, anyway, a lot of places still suffering, trying to recover from that. Places still flooded up, up that direction. Uh, we've had, like, this is the eighth day of above-average winds down here in Cebu City, so many hundreds of uh, kilometers away. Been a little bit surprised. I've had my windows open, uh, cooler breeze. Even had to close my windows a few times because it was blowing too hard through here. And uh, we've got another one coming in off the Pacific uh, that is... The, the various tracks, it might, it, it's not going to make landfall in the Philippines, very unlikely, but it will go off towards Taiwan probably, but it may affect the weather, especially in northern Luzon, if you're up that way. Something they don't need right now is more rain with the uh, soils becoming saturated and more, you'll probably see more landslides, number of bridges and uh, Rivers, bridges, roads were majorly damaged during this last big severe storm. Some good news, money exchange way. The, uh, the Philippine peso to the U.S. dollar is back to uh, above 58 to one U.S. dollar, 58 pesos. Uh, it dropped down into the 56 range for a couple of weeks at least, and it's back up there for a number of different reasons. Um, so your money goes a little bit further, but inflation is personal. It depends on how you spend money. And, you know, I buy a, re a, a fair amount of imported goods that, that I like and because imported goods cost more because of the exchange rate as well. So those foods generally cost more. Although, uh, like S&R, which is like a Costco, similar to a Costco here, you know, they had raised a, a few prices, uh, and I think uh, like uh, extra virgin olive oil, they had raised it very, very, very high. And coffee, Kirkland coffee and U-Band coffee, they had, they had raised the price very, very high. 
and I think people just quit buying it. So they have dropped the prices a little bit back to where they were, I don't know, maybe six months ago, something like that, uh, for a large can. My girlfriend tells me uh, she bought some fish the other day, and she said the price of fish has gone up because of the big storm and how it has affected uh, the, the, the fishermen. And so, so the price per kilogram of fish is up. I think uh, also uh, because of uh, um, some disease with the uh, with the pigs. I think pork lechon has gone up. This has been going on for some time. More people are eating chicken uh, because of that. I think ABC Hotel and Homes. They will rent long term. Some of you have stayed there. I've done videos there. I've got dozens of videos, many dozens of videos about condominiums. As I went around uh, taking videos, uh, how much do they cost, what do you get? And I'll have a uh, video coming up about leases here in the very near future. Number of restaurants, there's no shortage of places to eat, Filipino type places to eat, walking the various streets. Up on Mango Avenue, you get a, a few of the fast food places around Fuente Osmina Circle, big traffic places, circle up a, that way. Shop, uh, anyway, rainy night in Cebu City. Take care, safe travels, see you next time.